In this video, we will see how you can use the no-code editor to analyze your real-time data streams by calculating simple aggregates and writing them to Azure Cosmos DB. Performing these calculations in real time and writing to Azure Cosmos DB allows you to build real-time apps and dashboards using Power BI. This is the event hub to which I have told booth data sensor streaming in. It captures fields such as car make, model, license plate, and others, which we can use for this tutorial. Because I want to start processing these real-time data streams, I select this process data tab, and immediately I'm greeted with a bunch of predefined templates, which allows me to get started easily. I see a template here for materializing data in Cosmos DB, and I'm going to select start. And the first step for me is to provide a name for the stream analytics job that I'm going to be creating. So let's call this car summary. This is the no code editor, which we'll be using to develop the stream analytics job. The first step is to configure your event hub by specifying the serialization type of your incoming data streams and specifying the authentication method that your job will use to connect to your event hub. Once I hit connect, it will automatically start fetching data from your event hub and giving you a sample view of what are the different fields and how your input schema looks like. Here, you can see a preview of all the fields that exist. You can choose to remove a field if you want, rename a field, or even change the data type associated with it. Once everything looks good, the next step is to define my group by condition. Let's say that I'm looking to understand a summary of the number of cars crossing the toll booth broken down by the car make. For this, I would choose my aggregation as count, and I'm going to choose the field as car make. Notice how it automatically detects that the make is a nested field within the car model object, and it allows me to directly select that and hit save. And in settings, I choose that I want to group by the car make, and I want this to be computed over a tumbling window, which means that every five seconds it's going to be evaluating this condition and producing results. The final step is to configure the Cosmos DB output to which these results are written to. I choose the subscription name and the Cosmos DB account that I want to write to. And inside that, I choose the database and the container that I want to write to, and I hit connect. When the connection to Cosmos DB has been established successfully, I will see a snapshot of what the results would look like. I can hit refresh static preview to fetch the most recent results based on the data stream that is flowing in. You can see that it just got updated. Once everything looks good, the next step is to hit save. And once you have saved, you start the job. To start the job, you need to specify the number of streaming units that you want this job to run with. Streaming units are an abstraction for the amount of compute and memory that gets allocated to your job. It is recommended that you start with three and you adjust as needed. Once you hit start, it takes you to the list of jobs that were created through this no code experience. And you can see here that this job that I created is now starting and within two minutes, it will get to a running state similar to the other two jobs that I have. You can see now that the job has moved into a running state, which means that it is continuously reading data from your event hub, doing the calculations and producing results to your Azure Cosmos DB. You can look at the metrics associated with this job to see how it's performing. And you also get a summary of the latest output watermark here as well. If you want to stop the job or delete the job, you can do it directly through this UX. Now that we know that this job is running and producing results, let's go to our Cosmos DB account and see what this data looks like. So this is the Cosmos DB account, which has my database and container to which I'm writing to. I 
open the data explorer and I see the car summary DB to which I'm writing to. So let's try writing a simple select star and running this query. You can see that all the columns that I selected and all the aggregations that I defined in the streaming job is working as expected. Going back to the list of jobs that were created through the no code editor, I have another job that is called tool job that is running and this job computes the number of cars that are passing through each individual toll booth sensor. And it is writing the results to the same Cosmos DB account, but to a different database in it. And so if I had to query that, let's see what the results for that looks like. So here you can see that I have the field toll ID and how many cars crossed through that toll ID in this timestamp. To wrap up, we saw how you can use the no code editor to create a stream analytics job that reads from your event hub continuously, calculates results, and writes to Azure Cosmos DB output. This can be then used to build real-time apps or reports using Power BI.